Hey friends, how are you? I am so excited to share some videos with you about butterflies and some of bug friends and of course caterpillars, which is where the butterflies come from because butterflies start out as caterpillars, which is a really cool thing. And we're gonna start our videos with my favorite caterpillar butterfly story, the very hungry caterpillar. And I have somebody here to help me. It's my very hungry caterpillar puppet. Isn't he cute? He's got green, just like in the book. And he's got some little brown feet right here. And one, two antennas. And those fun caterpillar eyes. So he's going to help us read this story. And then maybe we can sing a caterpillar song at the end. So I'm going to put the caterpillar right here. So he has a good view of his story. Because he's the star of it. The title of this book is... The Very Hungry Caterpillar. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Can you see the egg right there? It's that white dot. It's a little caterpillar egg. And there's the moon. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny, very hungry caterpillar. Look how little there. And there's Mr. Sun. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. You see the hole there? Okay, let me see if I can show you. See how it has a hole in it? He went right through it. And look, He's on the other side. He just munch, 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 munch. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. Look at that. Munched right through there. Let's see. Yep, there he is. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. And you guessed it, he was still hungry. Look at those three blue plums. And let's find him. There's that caterpillar. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. Can you see those strawberries in all the holes? I can see you guys through those holes. Let's see if he's on the other side. Yep, do you see him? He's coming right out of that strawberry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. One, two, three, four, five all the way through, but he was still hungry. Oh my goodness, Saturday is busy. Look at all this yummy food. Let's find out. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, and one slice of salami. Look at all of that. That looks like a good ice cream cone. Then he ate through one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, look at all of this he would have eaten on Saturday. That night he had a stomach ache. I can imagine. That's a lot of food for one caterpillar. The next day was Sunday again. And the caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Look, he munch, 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 munched. And there he goes. Oh, now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. Holy guacamole. Look at that caterpillar. All that food he ate. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out. So he made his house all around himself and covered himself up with the brown stuff that made his cocoon and he's in there. And it says he stayed in there for two weeks. Then he started to nibble a hole and out came a beautiful butterfly. Oh my goodness, it is such an amazing thing. How it goes from an egg to a caterpillar 
to a very beautiful butterfly. The end. So we have our little caterpillar friend here. He wanted to sing and count some caterpillars with you. You ready? Yeah, are you guys ready? We're gonna do some counting. Ready? We'll do one little, two little, three little caterpillars, four little, five little, six little caterpillars, seven little, eight little, nine little caterpillars, 10 little caterpillars munching on an apple. Munch, 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 munch. What should we do this time? Ooh, let's this time, let's eat some ice cream. Ready? One little, two little, three little caterpillars, four little, five little, six little caterpillars, seven little, eight little, nine little caterpillars, ten little caterpillars munching on some ice cream. <laughs> what flavor do you think he likes? I think strawberry since it's a fruit and vegetable. That was in the book because he munched through all those strawberries, remember? All right, we'll do one more and this time we're going to do the nice green leaf. One little, two little, three little caterpillars, four little, five little, six little caterpillars, seven little, eight little, nine little caterpillars, ten little caterpillars munching on a leaf. Munch, 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 munch. Oh, it's such a fun story. I have another story that I'm going to share with you too before you go. And it's a story that is called, whoops, What Makes a Rainbow? Now this story has a lot of spring things in it, not just a caterpillar and a butterfly, but some really fun things and lots of bright colors. So it starts, little rabbit and his mother were sitting under the big flower petal. Look, said little rabbit, it stopped raining. Yes, said mama rabbit, soon we can see a rainbow. What makes a rainbow, asked little rabbit. Why don't you ask your friends, asked mama rabbit. Ladybug. What makes a rainbow? asked little rabbit. Red, said the ladybug, gently closing her red wings. You need red to make a rainbow. Can you see? She's there in the strawberry patch. So we have red for the ladybug and some yummy strawberries too. Do you see the red stripe that's coming up here? Keep an eye at this space up here when we turn each page. Mr. Fox. Ooh, look at the fox. What makes a rainbow, asked little rabbit. Orange, said Mr. Fox, swishing his orange tail. You need orange to make a rainbow. Look at that. We have red and orange. I wonder what comes next. Mr. Grasshopper, what makes a rainbow, asked little rabbit. Green, said Mr. Grasshopper, rubbing his long green legs together. You need green to make a rainbow. Can you see the grasshopper? He blends right in with the green leaves. And there's our rainbow colors. So far we have red, orange, yellow, and green. Bluebird and beetle, what makes a rainbow? Asked little rabbit. Blue, said the bluebird, ruffling her pretty blue feathers. And indigo, says Beetle, showing her shiny indigo back. You need blue and indigo to make a rainbow. Oh, wow. We got two colors that time. Look at that pretty blue bird. That is beautiful. And the beetle here is representing indigo, which is also sometimes like a purpley color. Well, said Mama Rabbit to Little Rabbit, now you know what makes a rainbow. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. And look at... Whoa, we have the sun and the rain and all the colors together make a rainbow. Rain colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, purple, and sunshine. Look at that. How fun. The end. Well, I am going to say goodbye for now. But if you watch, I'm going to share a couple other videos because if you see back here, I have some more Butterfly Friend books that I'm excited to share with you and some other songs that I'm excited to share with you too. So I'll see you soon and be good and take care.